Okay, so first I use my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture in SPF 35, and since I have oily skin, this works perfectly. Now, I'm not going to be in the sun a whole lot today, actually, so I just put this on more for, like, protection when I am going to be in the sun, um, which is going to be, you know, walking to my car and stuff like that, because I am going to be working today, working on Mother's Day, of course, since I work at a restaurant, but... Um, if you are going to be in the sun for long periods of time, I would choose the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer SPF 85, and that's just because my skin gets burned really easily, so I would opt for this one if I was going to have more sun exposure. Okay, and then I'm just going to let that sit for a while, and I'm going to move on to my eyes. So I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I put way too much on. It just kind of like spills out but yeah just rub that in and then as soon as you have that rubbed in then you can move on to eyeshadow so I definitely had to take most of that eyeshadow primer off but I did get it rubbed into my skin and I'm going to be moving into eyeshadow which is this little tart uh, it's called the beauty and the box in the buff and it's pretty much in like the same type of packaging as one of the benefit like box powders would be so it has four eyeshadows in here and this is so pretty they're so silky and soft and um, they're all really shimmery and gorgeous so I'm gonna be using all of the colors in this eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna show you how to get a natural looking um, eyeshadow look from these first I'm gonna start by taking this center or this like shade second to last or second to first whatever it is and I'm going to be taking that on an angled brush and I'm just going to put this all over the lid and into the crease. So I'm just going to do it like that all the way up to the brow bone. Don't get this part right underneath your eyebrow, but just make sure you get it on the actual brow bone. And just put it like that. Now I'm going in with this dark brown shade and I'm just going to be using a flat eyeliner brush and I'm just going to be using it as eyeliner. As you can see this color is really reflective, all of them are, but it's so pretty. It just looks really really nice as an eyeliner and then I'm going to blend it out with a pencil brush. So I'm just going to take this pencil brush and just move it back and forth and then up and down as well. So just back and forth. Make sure you smudge it into the, all the corners and then up and down so that it just looks like there's not really a set line that the lid color begins and the eyeliner color ends. Then taking this gold shade right in the middle, I'm going to put that on this little teeny tiny brush right here and I'm just going to add it to the lower lash line. So I think that looks really pretty right there, just it gives a nice pop of gold. So I really like that. Using the same little pointed brush, I'm going to get this white gold shimmery highlight color. I'm going to tap it off so it's not so bright. And then I'm just going to brighten up the inner corners. So if you guys could see how this looks, it looks really gorgeous. So I'm just going to do that on the other side as well. And then you have really pretty brightened up eyes. Alright, now I'm using my NYX HD foundation, which is almost out because I've been using it like crazy this whole entire month. I've needed a lot of coverage, so I've been layering it a little bit. But right now I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Actually, this isn't a little bit. This is a lot. But I do need the coverage that it gives. So what I'm going to do is actually apply this with my fingers. I'm just going to start from the center of my face and work my way out. And I'm actually just starting on one portion of my face at a time. So I start like at the very, very center. And then do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to just get from my nose up or from the top of my like the middle of my eyebrows up so that space in between just go all the way up your forehead and that's honestly just going to like blur this foundation just like blurs the edges of like your 
your acne and everything like it just makes everything look a little bit more polished it doesn't offer too much coverage but you can build it up since it is an HD foundation though it makes your skin look a little bit better without looking like it's so caked on and then put some on your nose so yeah I just go from that space of my eyebrows again just down and then I just blend the sides like that so taking a little bit of concealer and a stippling brush I'm just going to make this look a little bit natural but also cover um, everything that I need to cover underneath my eyes so that's what that is for and you do the same on the other side it's so pretty I love this concealer it's a Maybelline age rewind um, eraser for dark circles they also have a foundation too that I haven't tried and then once you're done with that I just like to get it with the stippling brush just my whole entire face so that everything just blends beautifully I love this step because it's like it's an extra blending step to make sure that your skin looks just natural and flawless then taking a big old powder brush I'm just going to tap on my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation and this is in the transparent color so this isn't like any particular color they do have different colors for different skin tones but I find that they're all mostly light so I feel like the transparent one would work for most people taking an angled brush on this Lacura Beauty um, eyeshadow duo it's in uh, Latte Macchiato number 101 and this is actually from Jess. I don't know where she got it from. I could probably ask her or um, if she sees this video she could probably comment or you know whatever. I will put it down in the down bar though if I um, remember to ask her. But I use this as an eyebrow color and this is like the best duo ever because when I'm not doing a bronzy eye like this and I just want to add a little definition to my brows and give my um, underneath my brows and my inner corner a little highlight when I don't want to do much other eyeshadow this is a perfect thing to carry with you um, if you're going like on a trip or anything it's so versatile and it's so nice so if you can find it I would really recommend getting then this. I really just like setting my brows in place because during the summer I know like your eyebrows can have a tendency to like melt off or whatever this will just keep it in place. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow gel. If you're wondering, it's for a dollar anywhere. And I find that it works, you know, just as good as anything. My favorite mascara is the Lash Blast Volume. Um, I love it in the waterproof. So if you're going somewhere during the summer where you're going to sweat a lot, I would get the waterproof one. But for now, I'm just going to use the regular one. I'm not going to be sweating too much today, I hope. Um, I'm just going to be at work now for the last step. I'm just using my favorite thing ever It's bare minerals warmth, and this is actually just the lid and I just put a big like fluffy brush in there And I get the contours of my cheekbones. I get my temples and You have to kind of blend this out a little bit because you're not supposed to get too much on the brush But once you blend it out, it just adds this like natural radiance to your skin it looks natural but you know it's not it's the best though I really love this product it's one of my favorite products that I've ever owned I've probably talked about this so many times um, but I feel like it doesn't get enough recognition from me because I always skip over it so I'm actually not going to use blush I like the look of this alone and I've gotten a lot of compliments lately that my skin looks a little bit more clear so I feel like blush usually adds unwanted redness to my face so I'm taking a little break from blush even though I love it and I'm so sorry about this noise let me just sh shut that door um, but anyway I hope that you all love this look and before the vacuuming gets any louder I'm just going to end right here and I hope that you all have a great day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!